So I've spent a good deal of this channel giving game developers a rough time about the strange and unusual things that we've found in their video games. And while I certainly plan to go back to talking about more of the weird things found in games after this video, today I thought we could explore some of the strangest, lesser discussed mysteries and discoveries ever found on film, video, and DVD. I wanted to stray away from discoveries that have already been explored to death, and clearly proven false such as the Hanging Munchkin in Wizard of Oz or the Ghost Boy in Three Men and the Baby which is clearly explained in a deleted scene to be a cutout of Ted Danson. Instead, I'm going to be diving into the strangest, lesser discussed mysteries and discoveries ever found in movies, video, and DVD. Fair Game Fair Game is a fairly solid political drama starring Naomi Watts and Sean Penn based off a of former Central Intelligence Agents novel of the same name. Eagle-eyed viewers notice at the end of the film, certain letters and credits were differentiated in yellow, revealing a hidden code when the letters were combined together. Since the film's release in 2010, nobody has ever solved the code, including one of the world's leading codebreakers, Klaus Schmey, who has dedicated himself to solving the code for nearly 10 years. Even stranger, Klaus received this message in his native German language on his website that said, don't focus on the yellow letter, better take them as markers for the following letters. Klaus noted this comment had an unusual usage of German vocabulary, suggesting that the comment did not actually originate from a German speaker, but perhaps originated from somebody involved in the production of the film. Klaus initially believed the code was intended as a failed tie-in promotion for the movie to drum up buzz for the film, but was now thrown off wondering why somebody was just now feeding him clues about it on his obscure German website years after release when the film by then had been long forgotten. The whole thing is especially strange considering there wasn't even any code breaking in the movie. What this code has been trying to tell us since 2010 is still a mystery. The Basketball Diaries Last month, a Redditor was watching the Leonardo DiCaprio 1995 film The Basketball Diaries when he noticed what appeared to be an unidentifiable object falling off the bridge in the distance of this scene. Is that... Fact check website Snopes quickly investigated the rumor that it was a body falling to its death and decided because there was no records of any reported deaths in the area during the months of these shoots, the possibility of it being someone jumping to their death seemed unlikely. Instead, they chucked it up to be something else, like probably an unusually large garbage bag. However, I think they forgot. That's how the mafia works. If you want to sleep tonight, I think you can try to rationalize it's some sort of impossibly huge bird, but I think it speaks to a certain reality that most of our minds immediately jump to the idea of it being a body. There's only so many things that match that image. And also, I've watched enough forensic files to know that just because a body wasn't found or reported doesn't mean it didn't happen. And hey, even if it is just an unusually large bag of garbage, it still takes a rather disturbed individual to create that much pollution on the environment. Everything Must Go Everything Must Go is one of Will Ferrell's most forgotten movies, and for good reason. It sucked. However, I still remember this film for this unusual scene where I honestly have no idea what's going on. Why are these children completely frozen in the background? Huh. If I look extremely closely, there's even more unusual stuff going on. It appears there is some sort of movement going on with the children, but it almost looks as though it was superimposed in. And way in the background, there's some sort of creature jumping around frame to frame that just looks really unnatural. I've heard many explanations that this is either a bad compositing mistake, that the kids were somehow green screened in, or even that the children were brainwashed by the Illuminati and that one of the actors accidentally said their MK Ultra trigger word and set them into standby mode. No matter what the explanation, no matter how many times I look at this, I still have no idea what's going on, and I really think only the filmmakers themselves would be able to provide the explanation. And while I don't actually believe it to be some sort of Hollywood Illuminati conspiracy, it may just be the most confusing thing I've ever seen in the background of a movie. Evangelion A few months ago, Redditor Super Honda Nut posted a clip of an unusual discovery he found on his Collection 07 DVD of Evangelion. By going into the Maggie files on the DVD on the character selection of Shigure, Super Honda Nut noticed that every 12 seconds, an image of a woman on a bed in a bikini would suddenly appear on the background menu. Oh god, is this some sort of cursed DVD? Seven days. Seven days till what? Your next student loan payment is due. 
Super Honda Nut even claims he saw an even more graphic clip show up on the screen once, but could find no way to get it to display again. YouTuber Gooseboost messaged the DVD manufacturer Madman Entertainment for answers about this creepy discovery. Thankfully, they did respond and claimed that the video was a snippet from another film they distributed about adult film actress Annabelle Chong, and that the clip's appearance was simply the result of an error. But I mean, come on. That's a special animation and everything for the fade out. You're telling me they accidentally animated that transition? <laughs> yeah, give me a break. I can't even say on that surprise because it reminds me of a very similar DVD incident. CKY4. As weird as the idea is of finding hidden unexpected adult content on a DVD is, it should come as no surprise to anyone that Bamajir is the one to take it too far. CKY, named after Bamajir's brother's band, was essentially Bam's predecessor to the show Jackass, in which Bam edited skateboarding footage together in a compilation of him goofing off of his buddies. And only present in the first 5,000 copies of Volume 4 of the series, viewers discovered if they were to press enter on their remote during a scene towards the end of the film when Bam zoomed in on his girlfriend. An entirely too hot for YouTube video would play a Bam and his then girlfriend playing a game of human Tetris in the bedroom. Predictably, the DVD was pulled off shelves and the Easter egg was removed from future copies, before the DVD was later pulled for a second and even a third time for even further legal troubles involving even more offending content, making it one of, if not the most censored and edited DVD release of all time. On top of this, this wasn't even the first time he did this, as apparently he did nearly the same Easter egg on the DVD of the film Haggard, also accessed by pressing enter during a random scene in the film. The Easter egg was pretty much the same thing with him and his girlfriend friend with the addition of six other women, which also got the DVD pulled and censored in later release. And because this is BAM, it doesn't even stop there, as altogether four different CKY DVDs were pulled because of offending content. In fact, one incident even landed him in the courtroom, being sued for indecent exposure by the parents of a kid who appeared in CK2. Oh. Well, I do tip my hat for BAM having the balls to pull off such a risky easter egg. All of this definitely solidifies what we already knew, that BAM is the ultimate jackass. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe. This video is sort of a way to experiment with some new content. So if you have any other ideas or any other pieces of content that you want to share, leave a comment below or come join the Discord. Or submit to me on oddheader.com. Shout out to Acryl Gamer Mexicano, Alexander Knight, Caitlin LaCour, Dan Duvale, Down with System D, I Fart in Elevators, Emery, J Day, Pestlun Sleeper, King of Carrot Flower, Nick Fade, Nest Dude, Nick, Spencer, and Towerizer for their Patreon support. Stay tuned.